What's going on everybody? Dan with Right Now Powder Coating here. And in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, we're gonna talk about something that I'm kind of frustrated, it took me so long to come around to. Um, you know, if you've ever seen someone in your industry, well, a lot of people actually doing something and you're like, yeah, that's a great idea, but I don't really need that. You know, I'm, I, I, I got this type of thing. Um, and then you went and tried it and you were like, where has this been all my life? That's what we're talking about today. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so what I did is I bought a part to up my powder coating game, basically. So it's a cheap, cheap item that can make you instantly so much better at powder coating. It's gonna reduce your rework, uh, the time you spend doing rework, the time you spend powder coating. It's gonna give you I mean, you're gonna save money because you're not doing the rework, you're not respraying powder, you're not having to sand parts down or strip them completely. And I'm very frustrated with myself for taking so long to jump on board with all the other people who are already doing this. So let's figure out what the hell I'm talking about. That right there, folks, a flashlight. That's it. For less than 10 bucks, I think it was $9.99 for the six pack of flashlights from our Menard store. If you're not in the Midwest, probably Home Depot, Lowe's, that type of place. But we've used flashlights in the past to check for light spots, not a big deal. But what all you other coders have already figured out are doing this, attaching it to your gun is a game changer. Um, not only has it helped me slow down and coat the parts more efficiently and effectively. It's also basically erased most of our redos um, completely. I've been doing it for, it's about four days now, and I just bought them on a whim at Menards. And I am so upset with myself that it took so long to do it. Um, if you're like me, you don't have a big booth, your lighting may not be great. We're working on it, give me some time. I don't have a very big shop. We, are, we just bought property near us, so you guys are gonna get to follow along as we build out that place. We're trying to get bids right now. It's not very wide, it's only 25 foot wide, but it's 130 foot deep, so we're gonna take um, all of our vehicle operations over there. We're gonna take our blast room over there, um, tire machines, all that kind of stuff. So basically, we're gonna open up all of this area right there, and we'll be able to add Maybe a mini line, that, that, that's gonna be down the road because it costs a lot, but probably another oven. We're gonna change our booth, get a bigger booth, maybe two ovens, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyways, back to the light. Cheapest upgrade you can make to your powder coating gun. I don't care if you have an Eastwood, a Columbia Coatings, a Cheap China gun, a KCI, Wagner, Nordstrom, whatever. Just putting that flashlight on there will save you a bunch of time, energy, and stress. I'm not even kidding. And we're gonna give you a sneak peek of a product we're working on to make it a little bit quicker. So let's, uh, well first, let's check out the video of us using the light and then stay tuned because we're gonna show you a product that you could probably purchase to make this a little easier. So stay tuned.
All right, guys. Um, so I did it again. I made a new part. Uh, as many of you know, I made a Corona ring. Um, and there's some of you actually owe one to right now. I think three of you. So bear with me. Um, I had to order some more parts. For some reason, it just kind of blew up again. So a bunch of you have been watching the video, I guess. Uh, but yes, the Corona rings are still available. I do make them as you order them just because I don't have a lot of free time. So I, there's no point in me making a bunch and then sitting on them forever. So uh, do bear with me. It could take five to 10 business days to get it made and shipped out to you. Uh, but this part I can make a lot quicker because I just have to print it. So um, what I did is I got tired of the rubber band. So we went ahead and created a flashlight holder for the GEMA gun. This will fit the Opti 2 for sure and the uh, pro unit. If your nozzle is 40 millimeters in diameter, it will fit your gun also. Um, we could probably make smaller ones, but I can't guarantee that they won't slide around or move a little bit because we'll probably make them a little bit bigger than they have to be just so that they do fit over it. Uh, to fix that, you could use like electrical tape or something like that. But let's take a look at what I made here. All right, so as you can see, the slides onto the nozzle there and this flashlight clips right in. Um, if you want, let me know in the comments if you would like the flashlight included. These are just little cheap flashlights from Menards, like I said, and I dropped it. Um, they run on three AAA batteries and they work pretty good on the gun. So you can see all of the Faraday areas that you're missing or the welds you're missing and they just snap right in. So it works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Um, again, if you're interested in one of these, uh, send me an email, dan at rightnowpowdercoating.com. If you're a member, there'll be a $5 off code um, or option for you. Just got to prove that you're a member. Um, $20 retail, $15 for our members. If you want one, just let me know. As always, hit the like button, subscribe, check out our links below. They help us. They help us keep the show going. So we appreciate every single one of you guys. We'll catch you next time. I wish I would have done it a lot sooner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, as much as I've 